Hey guys, welcome back. In my previous video, I reviewed Lightroom for Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus. I got a question from Jonathan who wanted to know if Hate's ROM is any better than Lightroom. So I thought, why should we not try it? In this video, I will give my thoughts on Hate's ROM 11.1 which is based on Android 9, Samsung One UI and also I will show you how to install this ROM on Galaxy S8 Plus, S8 and Note 8. Let's try this ROM on my Galaxy S8 Plus. Before we begin, you need to have a rooted phone with TWRP recovery installed. If you have not rooted your phone, I have a video for that. The link is in the description. Follow the instructions and when you are done, come back to this video. You need to go to XDA developers page and download the ROM zip file. Find the link in the description. Once you have downloaded, copy the file into your phone's SD card. This is important because we are going to wipe the internal storage. Now, turn off your phone. Then press and hold volume up, Bixby and power buttons all at the same time to boot into recovery mode. Once you are in TWRP recovery, click on wipe, format data, type yes to erase internal storage. Then go to advanced wipe, select Dalvik cache and cache, then swipe to wipe. Now go to install, choose the ROM zip file, and swipe to flash. Installation begins with Aroma Installer. Click on Next. Agree to the terms. You can see the change logs for all versions of this ROM. Click Next. You need to select Full Wipe. Select the boot animation you want and uncheck all the other options and click next. You can manually select your country code or you can just say use the previous one and click next. Select Google package installer. You can choose S10 or Note 8 wallpapers and sounds. Let's take S10. Select Edge Full to have Edge Lighting and Edge Control. There is a dual speaker mode which makes the earpiece as second speaker. You can have increased headphone volume but remember it can also tamper the quality of the sound so I uncheck this. Then I select Dynamic Lock Screen and leave all other options unchecked and click Next. Then coming to the fonts I choose Android 10. Samsung Emojis. There is also an additional font pack that you can select if you want and click on next. I don't use good lock so I don't need any of these apps. Going next. There are few CSC features here. You can display network speed in status bar. I find it very annoying. I select call recording, data usage in quick panel and I leave all other tweaks unchecked. Going next. I rather use Google Assistant than Bixby, 
so I like to remap Bixby button to launch camera app. Going next. Now this is interesting. All these must have Samsung apps have been ported from Android 10 to this ROM. I select all of these and click next. There are more Samsung apps to install. I select calculator, game launcher and game tools, Samsung music and video, digital well-being, Google assistant and sim toolkit. Going next, click install to flash the ROM. When it is done, click on end. It says this ROM is not rooted. That's not a problem. We'll flash Majisk after the first boot. Now reboot device. Now go to XDA Majisk page and download the latest Majisk zip file. Then transfer the file to your SD card. Turn off your phone. Go to TWRP recovery. Click on install. Choose Majisk zip file. Then swipe to flash. When it is done, click on reboot system. Now let's verify root access. As you can see, we are rooted. First thing I notice is when I go to settings, about phone, it says the model number is Note 8 N950F. If you guys are using this ROM on S8 or S8 Plus, no need to panic because this ROM has been ported from Note 8 firmware and it doesn't make any difference in normal usage. Coming to the features that we chose during the installation, they are working perfectly fine. Dynamic lock screen wallpaper. Call recording, data usage in quick settings panel, night mode, and game launcher. Talking about performance, Hades ROM outperforms stock ROM and light ROM despite offering more features. Battery performance is also very good. And more importantly, this ROM is completely bug free and without any doubt, you should try this too. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please drop a comment. I will be happy to answer them. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and also subscribe if you have not. I will see you in the next one. Until next time, take care.